guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I've got a little hair care routine. What I use to wash my hair, style it, products, the tools, etc. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching and I won't ramble on. Hope you enjoy. My hair has been air drying for maybe like an hour just while I've been doing my makeup and other things. I have extensions in which are actually really grown out right now. I need to get them refitted. I've got tape extensions. My actual hair is like bob kind of length so they're a little bit wavy naturally whereas my hair is actually fine and straight so it kind of is like a balancing act of trying to figure out what works for my hair but i've got my box of goodies here and some other products around me as well to show you and we're just gonna style my hair so i wash my hair about twice a week but the shampoo and conditioner that i'm currently loving is the moisture repair range from moroccan oil smells incredible feels really nice on the hair i always do a double shampoo and then i leave the conditioner on for a little while now and again i like to use a mask the one i've been loving recently is the hair by sam mcknight mask it's so good it's so nourishing i haven't actually found anything quite like this and how chic is packaging as well obsessed so i'm just gonna take a brush this one is a wet brush i do absolutely love the tangle teaser but i don't know where i've put it so i'm gonna have to find that but this one is great as well i did give my hair a bit of a brush earlier so you can see it has dried quite a bit if you see any of the tapes sticking out it's because they've twisted so apologies about that okay so in terms of like a blow dry cream like styling cream slash heat protectant i'm currently really enjoying this one by kerastase it's from their soleil range and it's for uv protection sun exposed hair it includes vitamin e in it and i just put this through like the mid lengths and ends it's a really nice product for summer. It just comes out like a little cream and it smells like holidays. It's so nice. I also like the shampoo and mask that they do from that range as well. Literally it smells like holidays. It would be the, like such a nice range to take away with you. Then for up here in my natural hair in the roots, I need volume. And the one that I love so much right now is the Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer from Color Wow. It's not quite a mousse. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, like a foam. I use a couple of pumps of that and I literally pop it through the crown of my head and really get it into the roots. I'm just going to brush that through as well just to make sure it's all even. So I tend to switch it up when it comes to like the way that I style my hair with my extensions in. But the way that I'm currently loving is using the Shark Flex Style. I've got the attachments in here. It's very similar to the Dyson Airwrap to be honest. I have used both. But I think there are like pros and cons to both. Obviously this one is a lot more affordable. It basically does the same thing. But they don't have different sized attachments. So this round brush it's more of an oval shape first of all it's way too big for my fringe it just needs to be a bit smaller and actually round so i don't actually tend to use it that much and then it only has these sizes for the like curling attachments and i would like much longer ones so when i used to have the dyson i had the long versions and they don't have different widths with these either so they're the cons of this one really on the other hand it is more affordable so it kind of balances itself out so i'm going to take the hair dryer attachment just pop that on and then you can twist around the textile to make it like more of a hair dry so I'm just gonna use that on a low heat just to get a little bit more moisture out the like mid lengths here Okay, so now my hair is about 80% dry in general. I'm going to start styling. So I'm gonna leave my like fringe area to start with and I'm actually gonna go in with the end using that hairdryer attachment and then a round brush, a smaller one, just because as I said, this one is way too big for my head. So just taking this off and grabbing curling attachments. I like to go away from my face. I think it's just a little bit more flattering on me. So I need them the other way around. It has the little arrows on it so you can tell which way you want to pop it. So let's just start on this side. Let's start on this side for some reason. Don't know why. I'm going to have it on a hotter heat. Probably going to get quite warm and sweaty because it's a hot day in London today. Just going to part my hair in the middle at the back. Give it a good brush and then away we go so i'm gonna work my way from the front apart from the fringe backwards just because i don't want a huge amount of curls in the back i want it to look more like a blowout kind of look so i'm going to start more in the front and then gradually 
work my way to the back. Just gonna hold it here for a moment and then let it drop. It obviously looks like crazy right now, but it's gonna drop throughout the video. When the hair has like wrapped itself around this barrel, I keep it on the hot setting for like 10 seconds until it feels quite hot. And then I pop a cold shot on to bring it back down to room temperature and like set it in that place. So that's the kind of thing you'll be seeing me do throughout the video. Okay, so now we've just got one piece left at the back. I'm not gonna put as many curls through this, but I'll show you what I mean. So now, apart from my fringe, this side is done. I'm gonna leave it to just cool and set, and then it will be brushed out properly later. So I'm just gonna repeat the exact same on this side, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we are done with the curling, as you can see this side has started to drop out more because I've only just done this side. So I'm now going to take off the curling barrel, pop on the dryer attachment again, give a little twist around and then I'm going to take the round brush just to do my fringe. As you will be able to tell, my natural hair really doesn't hold a curl well at all. So it will end up being that it's kind of just the extensions like the bottom part that ends up being the curly part and the rest of it's quite sleek. But let's just just do this anyway to give it a little bit of volume so I'm just gonna take the straight bits here and then I'm going to use this to give it some volume so I'm gonna go this way and then back okay we have a bit more volume up here now which I love just going to part it in the middle and you have this amazing blowout and I'm obsessed with it so if I was going out anywhere I would put some hairspray in just to keep the curls a little bit longer but because I'm at home shooting content today I'm happy for them to look a little bit more natural so I'm just gonna brush through them now with my original brush here I'm not too precious about them I kind of like the sort of natural lived-in look Okay, there we go. I might just pop a little bit of dry shampoo up in these roots just to give it a little bit extra volume and last a bit longer. So I've got the Living Proof Advanced Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I'll leave everything linked below as always. This smells unreal. It's like perfume. It smells so good. Give it a zhuzh. Okay, and now the finishing touch is some hair oil. I love this one from Gizu. It's so lovely and the bottle is so pretty on my dressing table as well. So I'm just gonna take a few drops of that and run it through the ends because I feel like my ends do get quite dry and I want it to just look nice and glossy. So that is my hair routine. As I said, I do that a couple of times a week or sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll use a curling tong. Just kind of depends what I'm going for. But at the moment, I'm really liking this sort of like natural blowed out kind of look. As I mentioned, I am very much due for a refit with my hair. So it is a little bit all over the place right now. And I do want to go a little bit blonder next time, I think, especially just around the face, just to give it a little bit more brightness. But I'm absolutely obsessed with extensions. Let me know if you have any questions about them, actually. Um, I'll be happy to answer those in another video or over on my Instagram stories if you like. So I will leave everything linked down below so you can check out all the different products that I used as well as the Shark Flex style and I'll put details for like what I'm wearing, lip colour as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, have a lovely day whatever you're doing and I'll catch you again soon. Bye!